Hey all, bit of a different video for you guys today. Uh, not on the Laguna as, as normal. Uh, I've actually got my friend and colleague of 12 years, Ben Wyatt, over. Uh, and he has a new car to show us. So that's very exciting for me. It uh, allows me to uh, make some free content off his back, which is nice. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Right, Ben, so do you want to tell us a little bit about the car? Yeah, certainly. So we've got a 1997 Volvo 940, 2.3. Unfortunately, it's auto for now. For now. For now. Um, but apart from that, she's completely box standard. Not a single thing's been changed with it. Literally as it rolled out the factory. Um, has the boatiest suspension in the world. Majestic. It's fantastic. I bet it rides beautifully. Oh, does it? Does it? So we got completely standard interior. Completely box standard. Even got keep fit windows. Keep fit windows, eh? That don't work. They don't work. No. <laughs> they work on the way down, not just not on the way up. So if you get caught out in the in the rain as it is now, then you you sob. You buggered. Um, <clears throat> There's not much to say, really. It's just completely box standard. It has heated seats, though. Heated seats. Yes, it has heated seats as standard. Um, couldn't afford for the electric windows, but heated seats come as standard because obviously your bum gets cold in Sweden. That's it. Um, so how long have you owned it? Oh, I've had it now for two months or so. The reason why it stays so standard is because I'm taking myself and a couple of friends up to a festival. So I thought, what about a car? Than the Volvo. Yeah, no, that's for sure. You know, because it's, uh, she'll take you everywhere. It's got 100 and how many miles? 80 something, I think. 182,000 miles. How's it drive? Like a dream. Like an absolute dream. There's not a problem wrong with it. What do you love about it so far? Even though it's a big car and it's, you know, quite heavy for what it is, it gets up and goes. For a car of its age, it should have way more force than it does. Way more force. What's the what's the engine on this though? It's the 2.3 turbo, yeah. Yeah, 2.3 red block turbo. So uh, what? Eight valve. So what uh, does that mean power wise? 150 odd, I think. And rear wheel and rear wheel drive in and these. Drive, so and sure a lot lighter. Yeah, and a lot lighter than people think. Yes. From what I've been told. Yes, it is. These only weigh about 1200, 1300 kilos, isn't that right? When they're unladen, I think it's a little bit more heavy than that when it's got everything in it. Yeah, fair. There you go, the humble steed. Trying to find a 940 these days that has everything in the engine bay That's it. is nigh on impossible. It looks very clean as well. Very clean. Very, very clean and unmolested, so it's been looked it. after. That's it. It's an auto. <laughs> well, yeah, true. True. One of the reasons why I got it. But nobody's stuck an air filter on it or anything like Nothing. that. It's just got a new battery. Nothing at all. And that's just about it. It's even, it's even got the service sticker. Cover this with in plate. Which is recent, yeah. actually. So you've got a lot of life left in that. Yeah. Although, mm, 2018 is very, very, It's not going to be on there very long, is No, it? that's true. That's true. So. Well, the thing is, if you remove the air box, you remove any uh, proof of that. So <laughs> then you don't that's have to it. worry about, it, worry about it. So either no you can do your cam belt or you can change out your airbox. Yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah, that's, that's what I'd do. That's it. If I can't see it, then it's not there. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> One of my favourite features is 90 degrees. So you don't bash your noggin. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Fully out of the way. I love it, yeah. Because it's a big bonnet. It'd be very easy. It's, it's, it's long as well, so it'd be very easy for you to... Uh, Oh, what your head on it when you're when you're dealing and stuff in the back. You can't so. grab it from here. You've got to walk, you've got to walk around the side to grab your bonnet, which is expansive. It's tall when it's up high. Oh, it is. 
For, for context, Ben's six foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> That's the window. They're fantastic. Helping hand. There you go. <laughs> Aww. And she purrs like a kitten. Oh, does she? Purrs like a dream. That's fantastic. Oh, you can hear a little bit of turbo up front as well. Yeah. I love it, it's got a little whistle to it. <laughs> I think it needs a, a fat dump valve and an air filter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your what's your favourite part of this whole car? Then? I'm going to have to show you, because this is this is tremendous. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this. This is probably something that went out with, with the Ark. Right. Went out with Noah. Health and safety would have a field day with this. <laughs> Look at that! Oh wow, it's a seven seater. The only problem is if you're any taller than about four foot two, you have slight headroom issues. <laughs> I'm gonna get in with you. I'm gonna get in with you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. It's not the most comfortable, but... So it's for your two and a half kids, then? <laughs> if you saw them in half. Yeah. <laughs> God, dear, I didn't even know that was in here. You just love it when you get extras. Look. That's fantastic. It's nearly as good as the toolkit on the other side. That toolkit is immaculate. Yeah, go on then, show us the toolkit. Never been used. I like the gloves best, <laughs> what? personally. I think the gloves are fantastic. <laughs> They've been there also so long, they've just... Used. Yeah, they've turned to cardboard. I wouldn't touch them in case they turned to, like, just, just dust. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm always very, uh, very wary about opening up plastic bags from cars. Yes. Oh, okay. No, that's, sockets. That's not terrible. That's not bad. Can't complain at that. One of them will fit. Jesus. Oh, they're like... They're multi-socket things, aren't they? The Volvo breaker bar. Oh, it's not a drape. It's not a Volvo That's a, a breaker bar, I was going to say. This is, that's this a draper one. This is the previous owner. This is a one owner car from new, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, one owner. This was uh, probably an elderly chap who took great care of his car by the look of things. It's very nice. You know it's old because look at the Tesco's bag. When was the last time you saw a Tesco's bag look like Charity that? Charity of the year, 1998. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing, that's been there quite a long time. Mm -hmm. It's quite a tremendous amount of boot space. So we've just folded the seats forwards. It's relatively early in the morning, so I put myself a six foot one. <laughs> and I know this from previous experience when I've uh, done a dump run in my old Volvo that unfortunately got stolen. This is a replacement. You can, in fact, fit a double mattress flat in the back. I'm going to stay it. <laughs> <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Right, so enough pissing around. What's the plan with this car then? Because uh, the we're going to see a bit more of this in the future, aren't most we? Most definitely, most definitely. The plan with this has changed, actually, over the past month or so. Okay. Um, it was going to be a dedicated drift car. Right. Then I thought, if I dedicate it as a drift car, I'm sort of, you know, hemming myself into one box. Yeah. Whereas the only differences I'll have to do really, apart from some, you know, proper lock stuff, which as you saw, it really doesn't need. It's got a fantastic lock on it. Um, is just change the change the diff. So instead of welding it, I'll just put an LSD in it. Okay. So I can take it on track. Can you get available ones? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Easily get, or? Yeah, you can get a gripper LSD from okay. uh, either uh, Retro Turbos or Swed Sleds. Okay. So two sled sleds. Yeah, I think it's like I was sled sleds or um, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, you can get a gripper, gripper LSD for it, which nice. literally just slots out, slots in. Um, who makes who makes coilovers for it? You can get a fantastic set from BC. So, but the only thing is we're gonna have to do some welding. Okay. Because um, you need to weld the bottom onto the um, onto the bottom of the strut. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you've, um, I'm just going to get BCs for it because you can pick them up relatively cheap. I mean, okay. About 800 pound, I think. If not a little bit more. Nothing major. Shush. Shush. <laughs> Good 
Goodness me. So coil overs, I'm gonna change the wheels out obviously. You can get a really nice set of Ocean 18s. Okay. It's a five spoke deep dish. Lovely. They look lovely. Absolutely okay. gorgeous. How wide do you think you'll go? Uh, nothing stupid. Um, probably eight and a half. Eight nine. and a half and a nine at the back, yeah. something like that. So nothing that I'm gonna cause any fouling issues and stuff yeah. like that. Um, as far as the engine goes, I'm gonna keep it as it is at the moment. Um, I'm gonna stick a slightly larger turbo. Obviously air filter with replacing the turbo. Yeah. Um, Has it got EGR or anything like that? Is this pre-EGR? Uh, I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'm not yeah. too sure. Okay. Um, so I'll have, yeah, I'll have to yeah, It'll have a that. cat on it, I guess. I think it does. Yeah. 97 should have a cat. We'll get rid of that. Yeah, that's, that's going to be gone. Um, I'm going to change out the grill because I prefer, there's like a black, they call it an egg crate grill. Yes, yeah, I know the one you mean. It's yeah. a little bit more meshy than this. Yeah, it's a bit more mesh than A little that. bit less old manny. Yeah. yeah so you're not going to truly go for a sleeper, really. You're going to. No, I'm going to make try it. Try and do some styling with it as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, I found out as, quite recently as well the E36 side skirts fit on with very little fettling. Okay. Um, that can, uh, you can stick E36 skirts on, just chop the back off. Right, okay. Um, slap it on, cut the screws. And you're away basically. Nice. Um, so yeah, this is uh, definitely a work in progress, but not much work needs to be done as much as, as far as I know. The biggest job is going to be the uh, manual change. Yeah, the gearbox change. Um, um, obviously, auto to manual is going to be quite. Pedal a... box selector mechanism, box itself, uh, torque converter out, clutch on. Yeah. It's it's not massive, but it's you know. Well, with the room that we've nice, got to work nice with in the engine bay. That's it, it's, it's really, really good, it's yeah. copious amounts of room. Yeah. Um, you know, a couple of little styling bits like uh, sun strip. You know, nice. I'm not going to really do anything massively to the paint. I do, however, want to paint a Swedish flag on the roof. Okay, I'm up for that. Um, either paint it or vinyl. Whatever. Vinyl it, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is the first time I've seen it, and for me, those mirrors are atrocious. So I have a question. Can we hit them with a heat gun? Most definitely. Now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of stole the heat gun, so I did the first one, but um, I think it's only fair that <laughs> Ben gets to work on his own car, so this is done. So Ben's going to be renting a unit with me from now on. Uh, so I think it's only fair given that we actually work the same shifts and we're going to have a lot of time off together So we'll be making videos together. I think it's only fair that he has officially our first Merchandise which is the Chris the Carl Builder tax disc sticker with a working QR code that If you scan it on your camera or your QR code scanner, it'll take you to my home page. So there you go you'd like to install it in the correct space which you have already cleaned which actually will cover over a nice lovely scratch. scratch i'm very proud of these stickers i used oliver prints on instagram that there wherever you want mate it's your car cover that cover, cover that scratch look at that I love it. I love it. Anyway, guys, it's uh, nice of you to watch again. Uh, thanks to Ben for uh, for coming and doing a video on his car. You're going to see a lot more of uh, you're going to see a lot more of him in the future. We That's literally different. work on the same job, don't we? In so, the same place. Yeah, I said uh, I like you. Come and work with me. We've been friends for like 12 <laughs> years, so uh, and we didn't see each other enough. So obviously, because of that, we have the same pattern of work. So when I'm off, I can just uh, call him and go, come on over, give me a hand, and vice versa. So you're going to see a lot more of his ugly mug and a lot of my ugly mug as per. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want your Chris the Car Builder, 
uh, tax this merchandise, then get on me on Instagram, which is at Chris the Car Builder. Give me a DM. They're four pound fifty. Uh, posted mainland first, mainland UK first class. So, yeah, uh, like if you like, subscribe if you want, a notification bell on if you care, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank Grab you. yourself a tax disc. And a tax disc. <laughs> Do what he says. He's bigger <laughs> than you. Do what he says. Catch you later.